Well, guys, welcome to what day are we? We're it's the 18th, Sunday the 18th. Happy Father's Day, Pete. Thank you very much. Yeah, I've been missing my missing my boys today. We'll talk about that in a sec. But um, it's been a, a magical magical day. This is a, an utterly stunning place in the Highlands of Scotland. It's called Inversnaid. It's been immortalised by everyone from Sir Walter Scott uh, to Gerald Manley Hopkins wrote a, a poem called Inversnaid. I was going to read it to you, but it's not very good, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> but um, Rich, ha how's the hike been down, down the east bank yeah. of Loch Lomond today? Absolutely beautiful. It was, uh, it's, it's, it's hard going. Uh, thankfully, I didn't have a heavy pack on, uh, so so I really enjoyed it actually, and and as you can see, Loch Lomond, we're you're just spoiled for views the whole way down. And you had a bit of a swim. I had a swim, yeah. When I arrived here, uh, there's a waterfall. You might be hearing it in the background. Uh, so I went over there, got some water from there, um, had a sip. Hopefully, I'll be fine tomorrow. And then, and then I had a, a swim right here, right behind us. Uh, which was amazing, really refreshing. And um, observant followers of this thing I can't call a vlog um, will have noticed like a, an Agatha Christie, Charlie's not here. We, we've gone from three to two and we'll, uh, we've got some sad news to tell you, but we'll, we'll do that in just, in just a second. Um, but, but first of all, you mentioned it's Father's Day. In, in most countries around the world, yeah. um, it's Father's Day today. I, I'm missing my, my sons a lot. I've been thinking about my dad, yeah. who, who died a number of years ago, but missing him. And um, what's really amazing, Rich, and I mean, I've got this theory that when you walk in the ways of righteousness, when you walk in Shalom, that there is a symmetry about your life. It's not that God is continually micromanaging and um, engineering all these details, but just like when you plant a seed in the ground, it grows into a tree and the tree is symmetrical. I, I think that when you walk in the ways of righteousness, uh, I often fail, but that's what I've been trying to do for a number of years now, that it creates a shape to your life where there's a lot of coincidences that aren't direct divine intervention, okay? But they are signs of God's beauty. Yeah. And this today is one of those for me because last time I walked this track that you walked today, my Bible reading that morning, just, you know, randomly, had been the one that we have featured in Lectio 365 yeah. today. For, for, for a reason, and that the scripture is is this. It's Psalm 102, verse 28. The children of thy servants shall stand fast in thy sight. The children of thy servants shall stand fast in thy sight. And because it had been my Bible reading when I woke up in Crean Larry, mm -hmm. you know, 18 months ago when I did this hike, I, I was meditating on that. Bible verse, and I was praying a lot for our two boys about them standing fast in the sight of God as I walked this path. And it's just one of those things, right? You, you know, you don't think it's a big deal. It's just you trying to respond to the invitation of God. But then that night I checked into the Inversnade bunkhouse, which is where we're staying tonight. And it's kind of a converted chapel. And therefore, there's, there's stained glass windows in the kind of punk bistro eating area. You'll see it in a bit, Rich. And it almost took my breath away. The centerpiece of the restaurant in the bunkhouse, restaurant's a bit of a grand word, but track with me here, yeah. is a stained glass window with Psalm 102 verse 28 it literally uh, we'll get a photo we'll put it on the end of this the children of thy servants shall stand fast in thy sight wow. and i i mean it had literally been meditating on that scripture weirdly in the king james version all day mm. and then there it is as i'm eating my dinner yeah and then take this fast forward we're back here the next time and it's 
Father's Day. Yeah. Now, I think some types of Christians would say that's all just God. Yeah. And some would say, don't be ridiculous, it's just fluke. I think it's this middle ground. I think it's divine symmetry. I think it's the shape mm -hmm. that life, it's, if you like, it's God's indirect intervention in your life. It's not direct. Yeah. And so maybe even as you've been doing Lectio 365 today, some of you that's spoken to you. Maybe, maybe you're not parents, but you're spiritual parents and you're, mm -hmm. you're thinking about those that you're really contending for them to grow in their faith. Maybe you are parents, maybe, maybe you're carrying a burden for your kids. Maybe this verse feels almost like a sick joke because your kids aren't standing fast. Maybe they are, but you're fearful for their futures. Mm. What a beautiful promise, whatever your situation this, this yeah. verse is. So yeah. on this Father's Day, this isn't just a nice verse about parenting that we've kind of randomly found by Googling it. This is one that God spoke to me last time I was here. Yeah that is by some divine coincidence on the stained glass window where we are staying yeah and ties in exactly to the message of this yeah. day so psalm 102 verse 28 if you haven't managed to do lectio today uh do check it out yeah. but rich we, we need to talk to you because what they're all really wondering is where is our photographer where is charlie yeah yeah so um <clears throat> this morning we we woke up and uh Charlie had said he hadn't slept through the night yeah. uh, due to the pain that uh, was in his right toe. Last last night we were seeing it, it, it had some swelling. Yeah. We were thinking, sleep on it, tomorrow we'll see how we go. By this morning it was yeah, this about morning. almost double the size of his other big toe. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so there was no way he was walking on it today and, uh, and you took him to hospital. Yeah, and Charlie initially thought that it it was like he just needed, he was trying to crack it like he thought so he was bending it around and yeah. that was making it agony so there was nothing for it this morning i drove him about an hour and a quarter into glasgow's royal infirmary hospital to get an x-ray we didn't know what was going on and they they they've sent him out it's not broken they've got some theories about what it is nothing life-threatening or whatever but it's serious and they, they've said to him he's wearing one of those big surgical boots yeah. they've said you need to try and keep it above your chest height yeah. um, and they've said to him you cannot hike for the next four weeks yeah. and so rich and i and charlie are just we on we don't know what to do this is one of those moments do we, we well we do we are praying for a miracle right we're saying to God, please, and you need to do it tonight. Yeah. Um, that's why Rich hiked on his own today. I was taking Charlie into the hospital. He was there. Yeah. And if we get a miracle tomorrow morning, you'll, you'll, you'll hear it for sure on, on, on tomorrow's vlog. Not that we call it a vlog. If um, we don't get a miracle, then we, we are going to need a lot of wisdom. We, we, we need to make some really big decisions. And we're potentially without a photographer. Um, and so we are just in that moment that you have probably been in, where you need God to do a miracle. You don't know what you're going to do if he doesn't. You're trying to exercise faith, but you're also trying to live in the real world that recognizes that miracles are, as C.S. Lewis says, rare. And so we are contending for a miracle tonight. We'd really ask you, please join us, pray. I believe that the God who made all of this can easily sort out a dodgy big toe. Yeah. But if that doesn't happen, we are gonna need a lot of wisdom to know what to do yeah. tomorrow. And I guess, I guess this is real pilgrimage. Yeah. It's not just skipping through pretty places trying to talk to Jesus it is trying to work out where he is in in in, in the confusing things in life yeah. so do pray for Charlie do pray for healing and please do also pray that we have wisdom to know what on earth is this spiritual attack um, it, has God got some other plan yeah. is it what 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 is it so yeah. that's where we're at
Yeah. As I was walking today, I was, I was just reminded of the verse that God wa- works all things together for the good of those who love Him mm. and are called according to His purpose. And, Romans eight twenty eight. Yeah, and just that He's He's in this, that He is moving, that 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 whether it's attack or whatever, that God will bring good out of this. Yeah, and I think it links into what you were saying uh, about how eighteen months ago uh, you had this verse and this this divine yeah. symmetry. Which, which to me just reminds me that, you know, we're not on a disc spinning around lost in space, that God, God holds it all together and he works within the bad to bring good out of it. And, yeah. And, uh, so that's what I'm trusting for Charlie. At, at increasingly, my theology on that scripture is not that it's automatic, I, you just keep singing worship songs, that even terrible things will turn to good things. Yeah. Because it just doesn't wash. I mean, too many bad things happen in some of our lives. Yeah. Here's how I think I see it. God's saying, as you keep seeking me, you will be able to even take the worst things in life and somehow rejoice in them and turn them into something for my glory. Yeah. And I, I used to take it very passively. I fold my arms. Okay, God. You know, you've got to make this into something good. And now it's more like, how do I take this pain, this frustration, this confusion, and what does it look like to use even this for the glory of God? Does that make sense? Yeah. All things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to His purposes. So how are we going to find His purposes? Yeah. And how are we going to love Him even when things don't seem to be working for good? Yeah. So maybe some of you think that that's terrible, that's unbelief. I hope it's not. I hope, I don't think it's a lack of faith. I think it is le- slowly learning faithfulness yeah. when things are, and, and, you know, both Rich and I have got our own stories with our own wives, health, and so on, of having to live in these tensions. Yeah. It's not just about Charlie not being able to walk with us when we're one week into a three week walk. It's, this is something that we're all re- wrestling with all the time. So I hope those unresolved thoughts are useful and uh, nothing can take away from the fact though that we're in a stunningly beautiful place and this isn't a fluke. God made this beauty and you see the divine symmetry in the seasons, in the earth and sky, in the shapes of the mountains, and how it all conspires to bring glory to God. Amen.